I am an insignificant heritage lover in a place destined to be treasured. Let us explore together this royal city with true and impossible stories, the land of Sufis and the Sultans, Bijapur. At the Imperial Mosque, Sultan, he would visit this mosque on his elephant at this grand arch, he would come inside with his royal guards. Now he is the Sultan when he visits this grand mosque. The moment he steps down, he is no more the Sultan. Now he can perform his prayers by standing next to his slave. Occupying the largest area of any building in Pijapur, the Jamia complex gives an aura of welcoming everyone. The dome of Jamia Masjid is made segmental, hence it pleases the eyes. The impressive mihrab has notable lines from the Holy Quran and inscription with pure gold plating. Place no trust in life, it is but brief. There is no rest in the transitory world. The world is very pleasing to the senses. Life is the best of all gifts, but it is not lasting. The largest well in Bijapur, it is believed the Sultan Ali Adil Shah himself had written Nujum al Ulum, a guide to astrology and magic. Perhaps which is why the architect Malik Sandal inscribed a curse while finishing the Taj Pauri. The Tashim period is regarded as the Rajguru of uh, Adil Shahi dynasty. Irrespective of caste and creed, till today, at the shrine of Hazrat Hashim Peer, people from all faith uh, come here to seek his blessings. Four centuries have passed, but still uh, people have great faith in uh, the Sufi's uh, mystical powers. At Hazrat Abdul Razak Khadri Darka, the devotees offer flowers at the Sufi's tomb, sing devotional songs in praise of the Sufi, asking for his intercession with God. The devotees visit every Thursday with the belief that the Sufi has powers to heal mental disorders or more precisely to remove the possession of chins from one's body. Hall of Justice converted to a reliquary by Muhammad Adil Shah to house two sacred hairs of the Prophet peace be upon him. The family of Farooq Mushrif hold the custodianship. The Sultan would make formal appearances from this double height veranda. The other side of this room secures wall paintings. Sadly, these are the only paintings left in this royal city. Even today, these stories fascinates every soul, which is why it makes the place the land of Sufis and the Sultans Bijapur.